Good morning, baseball fans, and welcome back to Dan's Vintage Baseball PC. Don't be fooled by the fancy name. It's just me and some baseball cards, and today those cards will be of Stan Musial. Stan Musial was a um, Hall of Famer who was born in uh, 1920 in Donora, Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania. Also, interestingly, the hometown of Ken Griffey and Ken Griffey Jr., uh, he was drafted out of high school as a pitcher, um, did pretty well in the minor leagues, but they discovered that he was actually a better hitter, and after, I guess, a little shoulder injury, he um, was converted to a full-time outfielder, uh, debuted in the uh, major leagues to um, quite a, if you look at his uh, 1941 season, only played in 12 games, but he batted 426, so... Uh, the following year, he became a regular, uh, won the World Series in 1942, 44, and 46. Uh, he won the MVP in 43, 46, and 48. Uh, so three MVP awards, three times he finished second. Uh, Stan Musial is perhaps the greatest hitter of all time. Other people say it's Ted Williams, but if you look at Musial's numbers, uh, it's really just uh, a plethora of black ink, uh, batting average, on base percentage, slugging percentage, finished his career with 475 home runs, 3,630 hits, uh, which was a national league record until um, the career of P. Rose. Stan Musial is also a 24 time All Star, which uh, holds the major league record for most All Star appearances, tied with Willie Mays and Hank Aaron. Um, Stan Musial's uh, baseball card um, history is not quite as good as his, uh, his actual baseball career. Um, he starts with the 1948 Bowman, which is a great start, a uh, great set that I have a complete um, SGC slab version of, which I will show on a future show. But there is upper left, the 1948 Stan Musial, which is called his rookie card, even though he's... He had been in the major leagues at that point for six years or so. Um, there is a 1947 Bond Bread Stan Musial um, and some other cards before that. Uh, you can see next to it is the 49 Bowman. That is uh, a beautiful card, the dark blue. Uh, the 52, uh, which we showed in my introductory video, and, of course, the 53 Bowman. So Stan Musial has four Bowman cards. Uh, there's no 50 or 51. There's no um, 54 or 55. Uh, as you can see, the card, of the sideways card, the vertical card below that is a 1951 Burke Ross. Um, and that is a traditional pose of Stan. That card, uh, I'm sorry, that picture appears in multiple cards uh, in off brands. He, one of the great tragedies of uh, card collecting is that Stan Musial does not have a Topps card in any of the flagship sets until he gets an All-Star card in 1958. And then he has um, the 59, as you can see there, uh, the light blue card, second from the left on the bottom. Uh, beautiful card, PSA 6. Um, picked that up in an auction at a pretty reasonable price. Uh, and then he's got the seven, uh, the 60, I'm sorry, the 1960, as you can see, um, Next to that on its left, the 62 and the 63. I do not have the 61 card. I do not like the 61 card. So you collect what you love. Uh, I'm never going to have every Stan Musial card, and I'm certainly not going to buy one just to have it, um, the complete tops run. So there's no 6, 52, 53, 54, even 56 Stan Musial. I'm, I've seen mock-ups of them. Uh, but uh, it's one of the great... Uh, James of um, card collecting, the, the lack of Stan Musial cards in that sense. Um, we did have scheduled to appear a, uh, a super collector, Musial super collector, but he was not able to make it this morning. Uh, he'll be coming up in future in a future episode, but um, I did get this photograph of his uh, display case, which, uh, you know, is pretty striking. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of other options for Stan Musial collectors. Um, the whole Rawlings set from the mid fifties. Um, and you know, there's a Wheaties, there's a few other cards in there. Um, and then there's a series of postcards and, uh, 
all of the type one photos so there's a lot of stand to collect out there if you want to but at this point this is my collection the card that I am missing that I would like to get, which is near the top of my want list, is the 1949 Leaf Stan Usual, which uh, is an exceedingly expensive card, and hopefully I'll some point get it. So that's my Stan Usual um, collection. Not overwhelming, but uh, like I said, there's a super collector who we'll, we'll be having eventually. Um, some point uh, just for uh, this weekend. Uh, I'm filming this on Saturday on Sunday night. At 6 o'clock, I will be appearing with uh, on Alex Bowman 53. Uh, it's part of the Hobby Palooza run through the uh, Bench Clear Media people. So I will be appearing 6 o'clock on that show in a panel of four collectors at Alex. So uh, please tune into that. Otherwise, we will see you next week. Take care.